Hi, I'm Scott Greenwald from JoomlaDirect.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Catoba Joomla template. So there are two options for installing the template. There's the full demo package, which includes a Joomla installation. And then there's just a standalone template that you would install in your extensions manager, just like any other template. So uh, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you the full demo package installation. If you want to skip this, if you're only interested in the, uh, the standalone template, then uh, Go ahead and skip this video and watch the second shorter video, which is just installing the template through your extensions manager. All right, so let's get started. So here's our zip file that, that I sent to you. It's called Kotoba Joomla Unzip First. And once we unzip that, inside of the folder, well, you'll notice two other zip files. So uh, let's go ahead and on this video, we're going, we're going to be focusing on the uh, Kotoba U master package underscore j25 dot zip. So the first step is to log into our website's cPanel. And uh, for this site, I'm hosting it under HostGator. So my domain is kotoba.joomladirect.com. And it's a fresh site. There's nothing on the site yet. And I'll just go to cPanel slash cPanel and you'll log in right there with your credentials. And once we're in, the first thing we're going to do is set up a new database for the Joomla installation. So cPanel has this uh, MySQL database wizard right here. Go ahead and click on that. Give our database a name. And you're gonna you want to make sure that you record your database name and your database username and password. So the database name was Kotoba Joe underscore demo. We'll go ahead and give it the same username. Password. Use this password generator if you can. It'll create a nice secure password for you. Make sure to record that password too. Copy it down somewhere. I have a little notepad right here. And then go ahead and create user. And uh, make sure you, you click all privileges. Okay, it looks like that was successful. The database name, the database, the database user, and the database name was created successfully. So we'll go back to the cPanel home. All right, the second step is to upload the the, uh, the zip file. So Let's go into our file manager. And I want to install my site into the main directory. So when I just go to uh, when I go to kotoba.jimlodirect.com, the site will come up. If you want to install it into a subdirectory like slash my site or something like that, you'll create the, uh, the folder first inside of public HTML and then you'll upload the file there. So we're going to be doing it straight into the root public HTML for this example. Let's go ahead and press upload. Choose file. And again, I can't stress this enough. Do not upload the Kotoba Joomla unzip first. For this uh, this demo, we're going to upload the master package. I'm just keeping an eye on our progress down here in the bottom right. All right, it's complete. So when it's complete, let's just go back to the, to 
the, to the cPanel or to the uh, file manager. All right, now that the, uh, the zip has been uploaded, we're just going to unzip it. And there's a second way to do this. You can unzip that file on your computer and just FTP everything straight into the uh, into your, your cPanel. Um, it might take a long time doing that, it takes several minutes. Uh, this is the faster way to do it. So we can actually unzip the zip file right here on the, uh, on the server. So I'm going to select the file and press extract. And yes, we want to extract it to our main uh, our root location, which is slash public HTML. All right, everything looks good. Now we don't need the zip file anymore, so let's just delete it. All right, so uh, the next step is to work, is to move everything from that that folder that we just extracted into public HTML. Just like I, uh, I stated before, we wanted the site to appear under the domain name without having to navigate into a folder. So on the left, on the left uh, file tree, make sure to select uh, Kotoba U master package underscore J25. Go ahead and select everything inside of that folder and drag it into public HTML. All right. So now we have all of the contents of the demo inside of our public HTML folder. We want to make sure we're doing this cleanly. So let's just delete the empty folder. We don't need any more. cPanel is a little tricky. Sometimes you'll have to do your operations from the right side of the pane instead of the left side. So if you want to delete something or extract something, you're going to have to select it on the right side. All right, and now we can start the Joomla installation. So let's go to the, uh, the location where it was installed. And it should redirect you straight to the installation screen. We'll just go through these steps here. I'm going to do English. All right, everything looks good. Don't worry about if uh, some, of these, some of these items are red. Um, Okay, step four of the installation is where we're going to enter our database information that we got when we created our database from the MySQL database wizard. So first enter your username. This is why we stored those uh, in the previous step. Password, our database name. Table prefix, leave this empty. It'll be a random prefix that Joomla chooses for you. Okay, press next. Okay, step five, we can just skip this step. Don't worry about it. Step six, we'll give our site a name. This will be the email of our, our Joomla admin user, super administrator. And you're going to want to make any note of your admin username and password as well. So for this last step, make sure to press install sample data. Right, installing sample data is very important. This will give you the full demo contents just like you see on the Kotoba uh, demo site. And then once the sample data has been installed successfully, I'm going to press next. Uh, equally important, make sure to remove your installation folder. All right, it's been removed. 
And uh, there we go. Let's go to the front end of the site. And voila, here we have your the exact uh, demo package. Same thing that we have on the, uh, the demo. So here's my demo right here. Here's your site. So log into the administrator. Under the extensions template manager is where you will see the Kotoba template. It's actually called UMaster default. Here's where you'll find all the template settings, the configuration. Um, one of the thing, first things I, I recommend doing is turning on compression. This will make your site run a thousand times faster. Um, you, could, you can change some of the styling options in here. Um, for further template setup, make sure to refer to the documentation, which was uh, inside of the zip file, the original zip file. Uh, it's actually just a bookmark to this link. You can find everything that you need right here. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.